Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And this video idea came to me while I was driving in the car listening to a top 10 list of unsettling technologies that could kill us in the future, so I don't know. So before I was watching this video, I watched another video, this is about multiple YouTube videos, uh, but I watched a video on, I believe the title was... The title was something about playing games with friends isn't always more fun. And I don't remember the YouTuber that uh, made the video, so if I figure it out, or you guys figure it out, go for it, uh, right in the comments below. But <clears throat> it was basically explaining that in a multiplayer game, for it to be fun with friends, you need to have some kind of social elements that interact. So, for instance, let's take a game like Call of Duty, right? Uh, if you play the zombies mode in a Call of Duty game, if you play it with two people, one of the elements is, you know, you're going to have different points, so people are buying different things, right? Whereas if you play solo, you buy all the things, you do all the challenges, you activate all the things. Whereas, you know, if you play with two people, it's a little bit different. Plus, there's a revive mechanic, and there's different strategies you can do because you're going to have two different guns up killing zombies, right? Or three or four. Or a shooter game like Battlefield, if you play and there's ten snipers on the enemy team, you're going to play differently than if there's ten assault players or a tank and seven supports, you know? You're going to play differently. But in a game like Civilization, where Civilization definitely rewards you, if you turtle up and play defensively, right? So in Civilization, if you get in a group of people where everyone likes to turtle up, the only interaction you get is, well, everyone settling lands and who settles it first. Other than that, if you don't like, other than the settler stuff, if no one goes to war, no one spies on each other, no one tries to diplomatically manipulate each other, then it's really just playing eight single-player games or two or four however many people you got so that's where it gets boring whereas in Civilization 6 if you're making alliances and going to war and trying to manipulate each other then all of a sudden you got four humans eight eight humans and they're all doing their own thing and any one of them could go after you it's pretty cool so this is where we get to Minecraft okay Minecraft has the ultimate multiplayer component, which is creativity. And I love this about Minecraft. So the example I'll give you is, let's say I have me and my friend Connor and my friend, or my sister Haley, okay? So we have me, Connor, Haley. Uh, if I play Minecraft with Connor, it's the same game. Let's say the same world, same game, right? If I play with Connor, my game is going to play out differently than if I play with Haley. So if I play with Connor, our house is going to look different. Me and Connor have this way that we build houses together that's very specific, and mines. So in a world where it's just me and Connor, our house is going to be different, our mine's going to be different, our priorities are going to be different, we're going to gather different types of resources. We're probably going to build a house out of cobblestone, right? And that's all it's going to be. So building a house is going to be easier. Our farm is going to be on the second floor, so building a farm is harder. We're not going to have too many chests, but it's still going to be kind of organized, you know? So things like that affect just the base alone. That's not to mention exploring, um, finding villages, finding different resources, what kind of resources we go after first. Um, even me and Connor, Connor likes to, I like to make stone pickaxes more than iron in the beginning of the game. Connor goes straight for, we're using all our iron to make iron pickaxes. So right there... Instead of having a bunch of iron armor in the beginning, let's say, I'm going to have iron pickaxes. So if I play with Haley, Haley is a little bit more creative than me and Connor combined, basically. So our house is going to get built. It's going to be a basic structure. And then she's going to want to gather different resources to build different detailed structures and then go for something like iron or diamonds. And then let's say she, we get iron and there's only certain things you can mine with iron like gold. And redstone if we mine gold she's gonna add to the gold to the next building and she's gonna build a bunch of little different different little structures if you know what I mean so Connor and I just build one house we're fine and the reason why we build one house is we like to go to the end 
Whereas my sister Haley, she might want to build different projects, maybe go to the nether, go back and build some more projects. So our resource allocation, instead of, oh, we have all this stuff that we don't really want to use, you know, we have strip mines going up and down. Our mines are going to be smaller if I play with Haley, but she's going to have a bunch of different buildings. We're going to have a bunch of different random detailed buildings. That's where our resources are going. So that's just one aspect alone. That's the base. The end goal. What if Haley wants to build a superstructure and Connor wants to go to the end? If I play with Haley, my resources are going to be much different. My time spent is going to be much different than if I play with Connor. Right? But then it gets even cooler. Okay? Let's say we're playing into me a world with me and Connor. Okay, me and Connor, we're playing for 10 hours. We have our so we have our two band social structure. You know, we have jobs that we like to do or something like that. It's all organized. We have our buildings. And then 10 hours into our Minecraft game, we Haley's in. Right? So, it's me and Connor, all of a sudden Haley's in. What happens? Well, we have our base, so it's probably not going to change, but Haley might start using some of our resources to build buildings, but she also might have to not build as many buildings and help us go to the end. So right there, Haley's experience has changed. Right? Our experience has changed because we have this third person using our resources to build things while we're trying to go to the end, right? Or Haley might come in and say, hey, we gotta change the house, so we change our house. You know, before Connor and I had this house, and I'm telling you guys, me and Connor built a very specific house. It's just a tower, the bottom room is storage, and then build exactly the same room, and that's everyone's rooms, right? But then, you know, that's our experience where it's me, Connor, and Haley, and Haley comes in at the, in the middle of the game. If Haley comes in at the beginning of the game, it can be even different, because what if Connor and I don't know what kind of base we want to build, and I find the first place to build a base, and our base looks different than what me and Connor build. Or Haley finds the first place, and Haley's base, you know, we go, Haley builds a base, we go to Haley, her base is different than what me and Connor build. So then again, that changes the experience. The thing about Minecraft is it takes the open world of, you know, you have your own experience and you keep changing it and it translates it into multiplayer games. If you play multiplayer Minecraft, it's fun because you have the rogue element of other people and having other people in there alone, just, just that alone, put one other person in, will completely change your Minecraft experience. And that is just the surface of why I think Minecraft has the best multiplayer of any video game. Is because who you play with influences how your entire game plays out of Minecraft. How your entire world is. It fundamentally changes it. So... That's it for this video. It's a mouthful. If you want to know the TLDR, I just said it. Let me know what you think of Minecraft multiplayer in the comments below. Is that your experience, what I just explained? That's been my experience. But I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post. Of whatever I decide to make.